So on July the 9th, I'd have been on YouTube 12 years, which is quite a long time, if you ask me. So I started in 2009 on YouTube. Uh, I was 39 then, I'm now 51. And it's been 12 years, for quite some time. So from my late 30s into my early 50s, I've been doing this, so all my 40s. And yeah, I mean, I haven't had massive growth or anything like that, you know, um, or massive views. I mean, some videos get massive views, it's, and you, you can't really predict which videos are going to do really well. I mean, for my Star Wars stuff, obviously I've got quite a lot of vintage stuff that's quite valuable, but it's not always that that gets the view. Well, it's usually never that that gets massive views. It's the things that like these hot wheels titanium ships um the helmet the hasbro captain rex helmet that done really well and stuff like that so you know i mean i always had the capacity to edit videos really fast and uh when you could edit on youtube i i, I could always um re-edit footage that was on my channel and just make new videos from that unfortunately that's gone away now so i have to shoot fresh other as they say but you know that was how i was able to make so many videos i mean i i don't even know i mean there's just so many I made short films with my mates um i think the 12 years ago i did one about ho chi minh in london because my mate's sort of half Chinese, he sort of looked kind of <laughs> ragged and like a communist. So I said, oh, you're Ho Chi Minh and just filmed him in Richmond Park and, uh, you know, said that's Ho Chi Minh, you know, shot, converted to black and white and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, added a few Ho Chi Minh quotes to it. It's obviously a silent movie, but I mean, I love doing stuff like that. And then... Another mate, Stalin, as Stalin and Ho, Stalin and Ho adventures in Richmond Park and places like that. I mean, they were both so drunk when they did that. But you know, that was good fun, and uh, I like doing short films. But obviously, because of lockdown, I can't do that at all. So you know, hopefully, and you've got to find someone that's willing to be uh, in front of the camera, who's fairly sober fairly together not having a mental breakdown and all that sort of stuff um yeah so i mean my main passion is star wars obviously so obviously the vintage line from 78 to 86 uh foreign variants you know as soon as i get stuff i always film it and bang it up on youtube I, obviously i take too long because you know i'm obviously en enamored of what i've just acquired and so i want to um just look at it through the camera and drink it in as you, as you say and um that will sort of make my videos very specific and very much to my taste rather than thinking i should make sharper cuts and all that sort of stuff so but it's good to have also like YouTube as a sort of record of your life because you've got if you go somewhere you might take up some footage or if, if you're just walking around London and see something interesting you might take some footage and you know just bang it up on YouTube as I say and you know so it really is a channel for myself I mean I do sometimes if I, I need to find out about a certain figure or a card back i'll have to watch my videos again just to find out about um because I, I mean in 20 i shot the both the boba fett's the vintage return of jedi 83 for boba fett's both on card and they're on one, one video and i forgot about that and i saw that last night because it's got the blue sky and the um space scene of boba fett both cards together but I've, I've had vague memories of editing it together. So, yeah, I mean, so I've just assembled a few bits and bobs. I mean, all of this stuff would have been on YouTube, everything here. 
and it's not just Star Wars though there's been a lot of Star Trek I actually won something last night from Star Trek the next generation of Playmates figure and that should be maybe with us next weekend which will be I think the night will be on the Friday so I'm gonna have to uh, I'll upload the video and just pull it up on uh, make it live on Friday but I thought I'd shoot it today rather than you know worry about doing it on the weekend I mean week during a weekday so I've got various figures here and bits and bobs you've got vintage stuff you've got model kits you've got uh, action fleet you've got black series you've got vintage collection you've got 3.75 Hasbro modern figures you've got a little bit of everything here and that's the sort of things I tend to show I mean when it with the sort of modern stuff I tend to open the stuff unless it's the vintage collection I'll, I'll leave that carded um, but you know um, I like stuff on card I, I think cards are quite for me are quite an something that appeals to me because I don't know maybe it's something about my childhood that you know the card backs and the, you know it's something like unopened and it's sort of because you're not going to play with them now so it's just that sort of takes you back to that how well, I've said this so many times halcyon times or carefree times when life wasn't so full of trepidation and worries and you know the mortgage or that sort of stuff just get plays on your mind now and again your job um, you know what's going on in the world of politics you know all that sort of stuff obviously with the lockdowns and COVID that would just drive many people to despair so it's been a good um, way of coping with that doing these videos and you know digging stuff out and you know <laughs> I have a tendency to uh, s cycle things around so I'll dig stuff out say in 2010 and then dig it out in 2014 and film it again and then maybe in 2018 2019 film it again but that's not such a bad thing because obviously the cameras I was using back then weren't so good as they are now so the footage is in a higher resolution so yeah I mean 12 years it's a long time <laughs> but made great friends on YouTube I think during the lockdown you know the Star Wars action figure collecting community just came together and you know it was centered around Pally Boys and you know it was really good to watch that every night so that was quite a um, I don't know something that helped us get through these strange strange times so yeah and obviously the new thing now is live streaming so I mean I did a few in 2013 with RF, RF Biker Scout but now um, doing live streams can be quite good to fun it's a way to share knowledge and expertise in a way and you know make great great friends with particular channels I'd say action figure grader um, boss bounty only one Kenobi of course um, people that watch my videos and interact with my videos leave comments and stuff like that. I, I, I need to really improve that I, I you know I might just heart heart like the comments but I need to rep reply a bit more but you know then Instagram as well I put stuff try to put some videos onto Instagram photographs and all that sort of stuff and, and you know so that's blacked out Ewoks as well so you know just to um, who knows spread the love or whatever so yeah how long is this video going on for <laughs> nine nine minutes so far I've just been waffling away um, let's show you what's here and then we can end this video yeah so I, I'm gonna say everything that's on this table has been on YouTube so what have we got here we've got um, that Hasbro Probot that's a great piece that came with a Darth Vader figure there's a Darth Vader, modern Darth Vader got the Greedo from the 70s we've got Power of the Force Big Fortuna we've got Action Fleet uh, Republic Cruiser we've got 
Constable Zuvio, the Black Series. We've got this Yak Face display piece, which I've reviewed. We've got a uh, Kira from Solo, 375 line. We've got the Black Series Poe as a pilot. We've got the Black Series Sand Trooper. We've got two recent pickups. We've got um, Moff Gideon and the Boba Fett with the Out the Dent and the Blue Sky Card. I mean, that. VC Boba Fett's probably going to be the vintage collection figure of the year. We've got the Disney toy box, Sith Trooper. We've got the Luke from the Last Jedi, the 3.75 basic line. We've got the Rev Revel X34 Land Speeder. We've got the Boba Fett figure, vintage Boba Fett figure. We've got a uh, Titanium Black Series X-Wing. I think that's uh, that's red too. We've got uh, the Y-Ring. From micro machines, but it's the same line that it, it would become the titaniums. Then we've got the Hot Wheels. So these sort of videos comparing the ships have done quite well. Usually, we've got the Death Squad Commander, Stormtrooper, FX7. We've got a Star Wars. I think it's Unleashed, Boba Fett and Jango Fett piece from uh, Attack of the Clones. We've got the Emperor 3.75 figure. That's a really good Emperor figure. We've got the Hasbro Star Wars Hero Meshes, Plo Plo Koon. We've got the Black Series Princess Leia Bausch. So I think that's everything. Wow. All of this stuff's been on YouTube. Um, yeah, great stuff. So 12 years. So if I end this video at 12 minutes, that makes sense, doesn't it? So I hope you enjoyed looking at this, listening to me waffle. But I thought it'd be important to mark 12 years and all that sort of stuff. So, 12 years on YouTube. Oh yeah, this Head Knocker, C3PO. Alright, cheers. Goodbye.